Okay, folks, this is going to be a review for the film Snitch. Now, Snitch was released in early 2007 and is a crime drama film. It stars Dwayne The Rock Johnson, in parentheses, um, and was directed by Rick Roman War. Um, so, I'll give you a short synopsis. Dwayne Johnson's character is the owner of a construction company. His son is arrested for drug trafficking, um, a sentence which can carry up to 30 years in prison. Johnson's character must help apprehend the cartel kingpin in order to secure his son's release, early release from prison. He seeks assistance from one of his employees, a former drug dealer who has sought an honest livelihood with the company. Okay, so that's basically the synopsis of the film. It's not fantastically original, uh, but I watched it on Netflix last night and I was fairly impressed, especially when you consider the budget. Listen to this. For a film with a fairly prominent high-speed car chase involving what like a 16-wheeler and 18-wheeler the film was budgeted at 15 million dollars which i can't think of the conversion in pounds but is actually not that much money when you consider the amount of money that it costs to hire some of these fucking actors uh what they were able to accomplish with this 15 million was quite impressive and it grossed a respectable considering its uh budget uh, 71 million dollars at the box office I think 71 and a half or closer to 71 and a half um, so what do I like about this film well the as I said the plot is not fantastically original but it's emphasis uh, this is what I don't like pardon me <laughs> uh, the plot is not fantastically original it's emphasis on Johnson's character's plight unfortunately sucks some of the air from that of his reluctant employee and co-star John uh, Berthel who you might know from The Walking Dead and who similarly has a sort of separate character arc where he's dealing with the fact that he used to be a drug dealer and, you know, he's trying to get out of that life, but uh, Johnson's character has kind of sucked him back into it in order to save his son's life, essentially, um, who's kind of being abused in prison. Spoiler alert, by the way. Uh, Dwayne Johnson was clearly a heavy selling point for the film as well, although the value delivered by him on screen was somewhat lessened by... Uh, a lack of action sequences, you know, so you hire Dwayne The Rock Johnson, you expect certain things from Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and I think maybe one of the biggest selling points of the film, driving some of those audiences to the cinemas, uh, probably wasn't made good on, which I can understand why some people would have found that disheartening. So what did I like about the film? I like to start with the cons, then move on to the pros. Um, what do I like about the film? Well, the film achieves a great deal, as I said, with its budget, especially considering the fact that its climax features a prominent chase scene, which, as I said, involves either a 16-wheeler or an 18-wheeler. My, uh, my knowledge, my intimate knowledge of heavy goods vehicles leaves much to be desired. Uh, the film does a good job of leaving the political contentiousness surrounding America's drug policies to the politicians and simply makes the point that the sentencing of offenders is too blanket. Um, because essentially his son is 18 years old, has picked up some pills, and it's this sort of arbitrary legal system where it's, well, you've got to rat someone out, and as a result of that, his father has to then go after the cartels to try and get a an airtight case and arrest. Um, so I'm glad that they did that. I like the fact that it's sort of understated. Um, in addition to that, the script was also well written. As I said, considering the budget of the film, scriptwriters ain't cheap, although... There was a, a script writing uh, kind of strike a few years ago, so some would have you believe that they are very cheap. Uh, I like the fact that in the absence of the action hero, Johnson had a mortal feel to his character and appeared even more haggard as the plot progressed, you know? So it's not this kind of Elysium Matt Damon thing where the motherfucker's just bulletproof, you know? <laughs> and he's recovering from, like, um, gut, like, gut stabbings you know someone's like taking and jibbing him in a gut and you know or in the leg i mean at one point johnson's character gets shot in the leg but it's right at the end of the film and uh, you know you can you can essentially imagine him recovering in hospital but up until then his injuries are not substantial enough for him to just instantly recover which is what we don't want to see from an almost mortal wound or at least a very serious wound which is quite common with action heroes um so overall the film is solid if a little underdeveloped in places the value well the amount of value delivered um by its meager budget not to mention the cost of johnson you have to remember they have individual hiring costs per actor and johnson i don't suppose he's cheap i mean would you call him a b actor probably at this point um and a reputable cast 
I must say, cast performed very well, is impressive. Uh, check it out on Netflix and tell me what you think. I'll see you later on. Bye-bye.